And a true sign that spring is in full swing. Utahns are hitting the lakes and Utah streams are in good health. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner reporting from Bear Lake this afternoon with that story, Kate. You can see and hear behind me just how much water is flowing into the lake, but it's not just water that's filling the lake right now, but fish as well. These pictures show 107,000 Bear Lake cutthroat trout being released into the lake at North Beach. While they're only about seven inches long right now. These are some of the monsters of the West when it comes to cutthroat trout. Chris Penny says these trout can grow longer than 30 inches and 20 pounds. It's really one of the things that makes fishing great at that lake. Like their name suggests, they're native to the area and the top predator in the lake. Basically, these predators are kind of what helps keep the ecosystem in balance. And this is a pretty important thing for a place like Bear Lake because in Bear Lake, we've got about four different species that are found nowhere else in the world. Penny says for decades, Utah, Idaho, and private landowners have been working together to restore streams and rivers in the area. All these tributaries are their natural spawning habitat. In the 90s, it was noticed they were starting to get pretty degraded, and we had to stock a lot more fish than we do now. He says right now, about half the fish in the lake are naturally spawned, and things continue to look up. The number that we're stocking now is really about a third of what we used to stock. And what it is is really indicative of the success that we've had rehabilitating, rehabilitating those streams as nursery and spawning habitat. Releasing the fish is obviously good for the fish, good for those who want to go fishing, and good for the environment as a whole. Reporting from Bear Lake, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.